Okay, so hello to our viewers, our other tutorials. Um, today we'll be showing you how to replace a CMOS battery and how to tell if it is running out of power. So, a CMOS battery is used by the BIOS to store data and miscellaneous things. Um, some signs that will tell you if it is running low or anything, or if it's dying, is your date and time will never be right when you turn your computer back on the BIOS settings will not be saved and there you will just notice it in general many things um, so uh, these batteries are essentially just watch, watch batteries there are types of names or numbers on them that you will need to know you can go to places like grocery stores and usual places where they sell watch batteries even like a watchsmith to find these they're usually inexpensive under around five dollars um, I managed to find one from an old motherboard that's perfectly fine and it's working well now um, right so let's go over to our motherboard um, so this is the battery in question um, uh, hopefully you can get a good focus on it um, now one thing that is important is to make sure that you have an anti-static wrist strap on I have this connected to a an old PC case even though you should connect it to the case that you are building on to bound it or bond it so here we have our Z77 Pro 3 motherboard for an LGA 1155 socket I think it is anyway so what we will do is we don't want anything that conducts it much to um do it. so what I actually did was I got my thermal paste um, tube and what I did was since this was the one thing around me um, I got the plastic lid and there is a little little button thing here I'll just show you that this little thing that you need to push um, what you want to do is you want to just slowly push against it just get a feel for it make sure you don't actually squeeze thermal paste out and you want to push and what you want to try to do is with your other finger I'll use this one. You want to try to pull it up. It's a bit tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it afterwards. There we go. Alright. Just a bit tricky. So here we have it. Try to get a close up shot of that. That is a new Sun CR2032 3 volt lithium battery. Now, if you'll see, there are numbers on the sides, then it's essentially just a watch battery. Um, now, if we go back down to the motherboard now, we will see this is what it looks like. So we've got the thing that actually clicks it in, and then the button. And what you want to do is you want to get out your new battery that you have. We don't have one here, because um, this is fine. I'm going to get it in right. Now, I'll try to do this easily. What you want to do is you want to get in and this is easier you just push it with one finger you might need to push it on one side tightly and get that in there we go make sure it's nice and secure you can just pick it up have a look yep that's flat and there you go your date and time now should be right and your BIOS will re remember your settings so thank you very much for watching this video on how to change a CMOS battery. Um, we'll be having many other tutorials like how to install PCI cards and PCIe graphics cards, RAM and many others. We'll see you in the next video.